Hi, here with Buckshot Bobby on the Gallison Ferry, heading to East Bay. Gonna head to Stingray Marine over there on the kind of the far end of East Bay. Meet our buddy Captain Brian Bronner. Gonna go out with Taylor Pill today. Gonna try to put him on some fish. The young man's been battling cancer and is just a, a true warrior. So we're gonna get out here, kind of post front fishing it, and see if we can do it to it Texas boy style. So stay tuned. Texas Boys Outdoors. Man, he said he's gonna catch a bigger fish than me. We ain't got on the boat yet. I, I think I like this kid. I'm really crushed. You're watching Texas Boys Outdoors. We got our good buddy Taylor Peel. We're gonna go out there this morning. Waited for it to warm up just a bit. It was about 30 degrees this morning, so the sun's kind of helping us out. We had a front come in a couple days ago. It's kind of finally starting to lay down a little bit. Other than, well, I think I did bring the wind with us as normal, but we'll get out there and try to hit anyway. We got a good friend, Captain Brian Bronner, to go out and try to catch some redfish and trout. And what do you think we're gonna fish this morning, Brian? Well, we got some low tides, real low. Uh, you brought the wind with you again. As usual, man. Uh, we're going to try to get back in some deep holes back in the marsh and uh, see if we can get some of those redfish stacked up. The water temperature is sitting right at 49 this morning, and it should stack those fish back up some of the deep holes. We'll go for that, and then as it warms up this afternoon, we might get out on some flats and see what we can do in the space. That sounds good. You ready, Taylor? Yes, sir. You going to do it to it, try to catch a big one? Let's go get them, man. Alright, who's gonna catch the biggest fish today? You or your brother? I am. I am. Are you sure? I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm positive. Y'all got a shake on it. Oh yeah. Low tides today, so we're back here to Marsh uh, coming out of a uh, drain, coming out of a marsh lake with deep holes in the middle. It's about nine foot deep out here. And what we're shooting for is uh, the water temperature is just barely above 50 now, and uh, uh, looking for reds and specks all piled up in this deep hole here. So we're gonna get after them. You boys ready? Yes, sir. Sharks. Hold on. There you go. I, I hooked a couple of good reds here the other day. Didn't I have one big one hit me and it broke me off? I can't remember. I thought I had something that went straight out that way and it got me. And I may have. I don't know if it broke you off or not. I might have just missed one that was running, just pulling drag for a second. Because when I started coming up, I felt 
So pull it back down. No. He's still on there? I'm not sure. He's, you got something on there. No, wait. Did he come off? He might be coming towards the boat. Or you could have a secret. I don't know if he's got anything. Something thumped it though, didn't they? If ever, like if I'd, I'd have, I'd pump it and then I'd reel down and then that's when I'd get the bite. Okay, if they don't touch it, then in about another minute or two, you can do what you were doing. But if he's right there, you might come hit it again real fast. I thought you'd kill him. Yeah, and if it's a black drum or a sheep head, it might take you 30 seconds. Yeah, you can get that thing all the way in. Discover Gulf Coast Auto Park, where thousands buy the way millions wish they could. We deliver. We've been doing business the right way for over 20 years. We deliver. Whether you're buying your first car or trading up, we've got you covered with the largest selection of the most dependable, fuel-saving, luxury, muscle, and tough in Brazoria County. And we deliver anywhere. Stop by Gulf Coast Auto Park or shop our full line of new and used vehicles at gulfcoast.net today. We will deliver for you. This new speed spool is lighter, faster, and stronger. Trust me, you're gonna like what you see. This new speed spool from Luz has a lower profile and it fits my hand a lot better. You know, the smaller frame and the skeletal reel foot, that's where we got rid of most of the weight. This reel has an all metal one piece frame, 10 shielded ball bearing system with a zero reverse clutch bearing. The new speed spool from Luz, lighter, faster, stronger. Feel the difference. Uh, right here in East Bay, had to bounce around a little bit trying to find these fish. This, this time of year when it's really cold, and kind of a post front like this, sometimes these fish will stack up in places. So you got to move around some until you find them. We've got an area on the, the south shoreline of East Bay where a, a kind of a lake back here, and this little gut comes in and feeds into the lake. So a little channel or drops off about 10 foot deep. So the boys got some live shrimp out there. We're going to see if something comes up and can get something yanking on their line. He did, yep, he did have something. All right, they're starting to maybe wake up a tad. There you go, boy. That's, that's got to be a red. Be keep a it. Don't pump it. Just keep it up and just keep reeling. He's got a red. I'm sure it's a good red. That, watch your cork. Right. It's going right towards your cork. He's hooked up. That's a good fish. That one was on me. Keep on reeling. Good job, buddy. Nice job, man. You got something big, I think. <laughs> you got a big old red. red. It has just to try be. not to pump it, just keep it up. Let me see what he does. Just for a sec, just keep it right there. Is he moving? He's not on the bottom while you hung up. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. You might have a big old drum. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Good job, Taylor. Hey, let's not get job till we get it in the boat. Very true. Right oh, it's a big is. old fish, whatever it is, boy. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that that it is a big old, that's oh, what the best is hookup. You weren't joking. That is a big old, that's a toad, man. Nice job, Taylor. That's a nice one. He broke the ice, dude. We needed that, man. Give me five, dude. Good job, boy. That's awesome. That's a big sheephead, too. That's about a Eight or nine, seven or eight pounds. I think there, that's the right? biggest sheep I've ever seen. I'm going to enter it in the world record. That is a big one. That's about, about eight or seven or eight pounds. Good job, man. Cow. Biggest ever. It's been a tough fight today. and he, he kept saying he was getting bites, and I started thinking, yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. And then, boom, smoked him. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Taylor Pill is about the biggest sheep heads I've seen in probably two or three years. Just my Billy. Yeah, oh, it's... Yeah, I think he's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna poop the hook out. <laughs> it's way up in there. All right, Taylor here caught a, just a giant of a sheep head. And if you look real close, let me show you, Taylor, you can see these things have jaws and just big old teeth. 
you'll find these along near crab traps and along the jetties and rocks stuff like that because they can handle they can crush crabs and real hard stuff but those teeth and jaws they can just crush stuff so you'll see them a lot of times you know hanging out with barnacles and stuff like that because they can eat those little crabs well this time he he grabbed the wrong crab or shrimp didn't he yes sir you want to let him go when you go in here just hold on to this so it don't fall yeah, don't drop it. but all you do is you'll, here i'll actually do that part you just hold on to that we'll let him you know what here well so, yeah you can do it hold it real tight and then you about to do and just pull that up with your other hand just kind of flip that thing up There he goes, he'll swim off. Those things are tough, so he's, he'd be just yeah. fine. Try to get him swinging to the right a little bit if you can. But no, your brother's getting out of the way. Good job, man. You might, you might have something different. Let's see. At any time, reds and big trout could be coming through here. Oh, sheephead. Let me get out of your way. Cool, man. You never enough. know what's going to be in here. Good job, Garrett. Keep him coming. He's been yeah, that run. Uh oh. You might be giving your brother a run for his money. That ain't right. Uh, man. I think I think I think Taylor's still ahead, but that's a big sheep head too, man. Nice job, Bro, Garrett. I thought I was hooked on him. I think we'll get our hook him. back on him. <laughs> I thought I was hooked on him. Good job, Garrett. Good job, man. Nice job, buddy. Is that your first sheep head? No, he's got a couple. You caught one before? You caught one that big? Not that big. That's a pretty that's about a five pounder. <laughs> Howdy, this is Texas Roy. I started working with these guys about four years ago after I took them my first buck with a bow. I was amazed at the overall quality and how realistic my mount turned out. When you get that trophy that you want to show off proudly at the house on the wall, don't settle for anything but the best. Whether it's a full body mount, shoulder mount, or the $75 Euro mount, check out Taxidermy Designs over in Tomball, Texas. Uh, like we said, it had been a tough bite for a little bit. We pulled up to this spot, hadn't been here about 10 minutes, and they started missing a couple fish. We actually had one, he missed the fish, and his hook was all bent, so we knew something was up. And five minutes later, Taylor catches a, a stud, about an eight-pound sheephead, and little brother right behind him catches about a five-pounder. So these boys are doing it to it on some, some big old Galveston Bay sheephead. That's a stud, man. There you go. Yo, yo, you see him, he turned and kicked. He was good and healthy. Nice job, man. Oh, well, he isn't coming up like a trout, but I'm guessing that's a trout. Flounder. Oh, it's a little flounder. Holy moly. Can you believe that? They're on the bottom for 30 minutes and no flounder. He's on the court and catching the flounder. Go figure. That's, they're starting to get more aggressive, though. Yeah. Oh, it's a trout. He's a little undersized. They're still cool looking. Yeah, That's gotta be a fly of the way it hit. Yeah. He might, he might have a trout. He slowly sucked that cork down. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you were watching. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fish here. Boys are handling their business, and now Dad, Mr. Chris, is doing it to it. He's got that. Ain't no little flounder. No. Well, that's a flounder. That's a pretty nice size. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. It's hitting that cork. Same spot too. Yep. Right out on that corner. That's fighting like a sheephead or a red. Do you feel like a pretty good one? Either that or it's about a four pound spade. Yeah, dude, if he had the big old trout, I may have to grab oh, a rock. Oh, another flounder. Is it, is it a big flounder? Yeah, not a flounder. Not, look at a big flounder, man. You like some? Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. It looked a little red. I saw the white side. I thought it looked red. Could be. The way it's fighting, it's, it's probably a sheephead or a flounder. The trout would probably be going a little more sideways. Oh, oh, he's a big, a big, old, he a big one. <laughs> Holy moly. I saw that white belly and thought it was a yeah. flounder. 
Well, that's a good one. That's like a 10 pounder on the back. <laughs> no, you've got seven. That's cool. You had it all in there. Yeah. I wonder which way it came from. I think he might have came from this way because they hit me in the back. Nice, man. That is a big one. Nice. Good job, Bruce. Wow, wow. I've never seen sheep that look at That is a big one. Lifting. Yeah, yeah. put your thumb in there and grab it, Brian. That's a big one. Fella. Be still where I can see the hook. I doubt it. Would you put your finger in that mouth? No. Absolutely not. Oh, we have a buffalo and he caught a little shark and they pulled it up and shot to the hook out. And he put his hand in his mouth. And he's like, and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, sharks don't fight out of water. I guarantee he wasn't. I knew he was going to break that too. Alright, well, as is the case with fishing quite a bit, when there's no tide movement, there's you ain't catching no fish. And so we came up this little cut, it was slow for about the first half hour, and these boys started catching some sheephead, now we're catching flounder, and it's all kind of coincided with the, the baits moving in a little bit. The tide's suddenly starting to come back in, the water's clearing up, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes. It all goes hand in hand, and they're catching fish. We just started a new Facebook page, Crystal Beach Charters, and I'd appreciate everybody to get on there and give it a like. Job. Hey, he's got a big one. It's like a football workout, man. You're trying to build your arms up. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Taylor. I think he's got another toad, man. This might be something. I can hear him grunting, that's awesome. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's got, oh, that might be the biggest one. Or is it just the angle I saw it in? Hold on. It could have been the angle. It's a big one either way, another nice one, but it's hard to say how big. Let me grab that net. Where's the net? That's a, I think that's the biggest. Is it a big oh, one? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, wow. That's a big one. <laughs> Good wow. Lord. I think we'll get the hook back. That might be yeah, he didn't hook him. Oh my good look how that hook's about to fall out. Hey, I told if he would have fought this another rodeo. Uh, look at that. He did fall hook, out. I knew it. If he would have turned you'd let him do anything else. Good job. Because if you done uh, it, a lot of people would have just lost that fish. You've had him barely you wanna, hooked. You want to bonger grip him again? Yeah, we'll take a pick. This this I think this is bigger than his other one. I want to see. That's about an eight or nine pounder, man. man. Yeah, he's I mean, about the same. He's brought it almost seven. I that's a big one, man. Yeah, that's a big one. Wow. Ah. 
here you go. Now get you got it. Good well, job. I was, when I was trying I saw your line get old. Here tight. comes the rodeo. What did you call the tooth? Wow. This what do you got? Something. You didn't say Texas. Something you, think you got a red? You didn't say Texas boy. Uh, I don't know what it is. She said Texas boy style. <laughs> is there another sheep head? Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. Mosquitoes. Isn't that amazing how they're just piled in here? There's little red right there. Oh, cheeks. That's a nice one. Uh, yeah. That's another big one. Another big one. Best pro move right here. Wait. And I think the shrimp's right here by the boat swimming. I'll get to the other one. That was my best cast so far. I'm gonna save them, but I want you to be out Good job, man. Hey. Texas boy style. Texas boy style. All right, had an awesome day on the water with our buddy Captain Brian Bronner. If you want to fish with Brian, you can check out crystalbeachcharters.com. Give him a call and he'll take you out and you'll be learning as you fish and you can't beat that. Always a great time with him. He always does a, goes out of his way to help out with the kids and some of the wounded veteran trips we do. So he's one of our favorite guys to fish with and he's just top notch all the way around. And also our, one of our sponsors, Industrial Scale Company. The guy surprised me. The owner's a guy named Brian Marquis, a real close friend of mine, just a super guy, and called me last night. It was too late to get everything together, but they want to do... Make sure Taylor had a good time today, and he'd also like to get Taylor. We're going to give you a loose fishing reel and a custom Laguna fishing rod. It's about a $300 rod, the best rod you can make. We're going to get one custom with your name on it. We're going to have it for you in about a week or two, so we really appreciate you coming out with us, man. Thank you. No problem. And Garrett, we're going to have you go on our website, and you're going to pick out whatever shirt you think is the coolest one on there and get one for you and pick out one for your dad. So we really appreciate you guys coming out. And uh, we're going to have to hit it again soon, okay? Yes, sir. Good job, guys. Closed captioning for this episode is provided by the Four Horsemen.